So, I'm joined here by Ashling Dolan, who is our newest councillor for the Ballinasloe <laughs> Municipal District area. Ashling, a momentous yeah. occasion for the Dolan family <laughs> and for uh, Clan Dolan. Your exactly. thoughts on this historic occasion? Oh my God, Colm, this is for everybody. This is for everyone in East Galway, this is everyone in Banlasloe, this is everyone in Pullboy. Uh, I don't even know what to say. We've been so excited. It's a team effort. It's not... I don't know what to say. We've had 30 people more working on our team. But it's been everyone. Everyone. We knocked at everyone's door. People who literally listened to us, talked to us, realised that what we were saying is what they wanted as well. So in other words, how to make East Galway, how to make the area we live in, how to bring jobs into our area, how to save Port Yonkla Hospital, how to make it a place to live, a place to work, a place to visit. This is what people want. We, are, we know what we have. We have something really special where we come from. And I think it's a love of the area that we come from. That's why I'm here. I think it's a love of the area we come from. That's why everyone joined our team. And I think it's about making people realise that we have something really special. And how do we share that? How do we attract in tourism? How do we tag in, tap into hidden heartlands? We have heritage. We have landscape. We have peatlands. We are going to have a greenway coming into Banaslow. We are going to have, I suppose, an option to attract people in and to show what a unique community we have. Community spirit. And just a great sense of people volunteering. So anyway, I hope that, that yeah. <laughs> and tell us what key messages did you hear or did you listen oh, yes. to uh, at the doors or on the canvas? You were oh, on the canvas now for three weeks, four so weeks? It was a privilege. I mean, uh, gosh, Colm, I don't know how to say it. it. It was a real privilege to be able to go to people's houses and from Greg's, Craig's, sorry, Glinsk, to see the, the river suck as a stream, uh, to literally come down and to go through Mount Bellew, Ahaskara, Caltra, to go down into Banaslow, of course, the heart of Banaslow. Uh, where we're from, where I'm from, and all on to Lawrencetown, Clontuskert, Tuskert, Clonfort, and knocking on people's doors, there's a lot of similar things. I mean, people want to have their towns and villages kept alive. People want to live in this beautiful area that we have. They want to have the jobs to do it, the income to do it. And so it's about things like flexible working, broadband, being able to work from home, being able to support farm incomes, to find other ways, maybe through eco-tourism, to have catering, accommodation. You know, there are so many things that we can do to help keep our towns and villages alive. And then also Port Yonkla Hospital. Um, we are so proud to have a hospital in East Galway and in Banaslow that services North Tip, Offaly, Westmeath. We need to fight for that. And I think what people wanted was a voice, a voice for Banaslow, a voice for East Galway. And I suppose that's what I'm hoping, that's what I hope I can bring, and I feel that's what I can bring. So key priorities for you as you uh, yeah. get, the, get used to the feel of being a councillor, you're going to meet in a couple of weeks' yeah. time. What do you think will be on the top of your agenda? Well, number one is the 50-bed unit in Port Yonkla. I mean, that's been promised and it hasn't arrived yet, it hasn't materialised. Um, that hospital is number one. Um, we have to protect that hospital and how we fight for that is huge. It will mean me and I suppose other councillors working with our national TDs um, to ensure that we can get this across the line. And it's that's key, that's number one for me. And then obviously the Greenway. I want a Greenway into Banaslow. That's going to come. And I suppose tapping into Hidden Heartlands, working with all the businesses in our area, in East Galway, working with all the heritage groups, working with tourism to showcase what a wonderful space we have, working with clubs, community groups, and I think building a business association in Banaslow would be one of the key things I'd like to see happen. We need to have one voice, one voice, and that leverages a lot of strength. Um, and I, I'd really look forward to seeing that. And I, right now I can't think of anything else, but I'm sure there'll be a long list. <laughs> and who would you like to thank? Who would you like to acknowledge? Oh my God, everybody. Dr. Vincent Parsons, I suppose, is number one campaign manager. We had a 40-day campaign. Can you believe it? 40 days, gone. <laughs> and an amazing team. From my campaign last year with Banaslow Says No, a lot of people got to know us. And I think it's because of that track record. People based it on track record. People heard me on the radio debate. And I think they understood what we were trying to say, that we want to fight for the area that we come from. And we believe there's a lot in there and that we deserved better. And hopefully in the next five years, I'm going to prove that. And I